What's up guys? Got a lot of stuff in. Too much, I think. Uh, but, let's take a look. First up, I got a beautiful box GI Joe Sky Striker here. Hopefully, you can see the really nice coloring on it. Uh, this is definitely one of the ones that I like the most. I love the artwork on the Japanese boxes, and you can see the back here. I mean, just this will look really good. I'm not sure if any of you guys out there on the YouTube network uh, collect. Takara as much as I do, but I'm a huge fan of the Japanese G.I. Joes, and I tend to, when I see something nice, I keep it, and I'm kind of a hoarder with these, but uh, I know my buddy Russell wants this, so we'll see what happens. Maybe it'll go to him, but do like that box, so I don't know. We got the Cobra Soldier. The uh, packaging on these is really nice. You can see the uh, differences here. I'll show you. By comparison with a gung ho, you can see Cobra, of course, is going to be the red, and the blue is uh, the GI Joes. And then they have their own, they their own background, and I love how they changed the wording into Japanese. Uh, these are uh, a lot of these are actually going to go up on eBay. I'm going to include a link down below. You guys can take a look at everything there, and hopefully, um, some of these go to good homes. And this is uh, Stalker. And you'll notice, uh, yeah, I know it's going to be hard to see. I did get at least get better lighting. I want to be in the toy room, but it's not done. So it's very time consuming. Still got a lot left. You can see the names. Here it says Ranger for Stalker. Uh, Gung Ho says Marine. Cobra Soldier is still the same. Scarlet here says Counterintelligence. I think in... I believe it might be her actual name. There's Japanese writing above it. I can't read everything, so I'd like to have my wife help out, but she ran away. And we also have Shipwreck, also known as Sailor, on here. And Mine Detector, which is Tripwire. I do I have a lot more figures to go through here, guys. I'm going to try to do this kind of quick. I have a Breaker here. These are all, all of these are actually in really nice condition. Um, they, they did cost a pretty penny. The Takara stuff has been going up in value. Uh, so I don't know why. There, there's always been a, a, basically a large amount of it available. So you can always see that I always get a lot of Takara in and I always try to figure out why the, why the values fluctuate, but I guess maybe it's, it's having to do with supply and demand, of course. So maybe there's new collectors coming into the market and you know the price shoots up because there's a more of a demand for it. So here we go with uh, Snow Job, who's also known as Arctic Trooper. He's got his skis are a little bit yellow. That is very common with this particular figure. The figure itself is nice and white, but I don't know why some of the accessories tend to yellow over time. We got Roadblock, also known as Heavy Machine Gunner. The back's actually really cool too. It's different than the US. I don't know if you guys, I don't have a US one to compare it to here, but uh, on the US car backs, they usually have just pictures of each of the, the GI Joes. Uh, on here, they actually have, um, have them all set up in kind of a, a mountainous looking area. And then there's a, a base hits up in the corner. Somebody recently pointed out to me that's like a Micronauts base. I don't, it's kind of hard to see probably up there because it's a little bit dark, but. When you check out my eBay listings, you'll be able to see it in some of the pictures. It's on the upper corner on the left side. So it's, it's, it's definitely unusual. I don't know why they did that. Maybe they just didn't have anything at the time. Major Blood. He uh, is also known as Mercenary. Now we got Cobra Officer here. He's on Punched. The car back's in pretty nice shape. I got, I'm gonna have to clear this table off. I got a whole bunch more here. I have boxes and boxes of GI Joes to go through. This is definitely a lot of fun. 
I really enjoy getting it's like Christmas every time I get all these in I get all excited open them and I completely forget what I what I got I did open these ahead of time because I kind of wanted to go through this fairly quick because there's a lot of stuff here uh, it's not just the Japanese GI Joe's I did get some fun school items in I'll go over those here in a little bit but this is uh, some more figures here I really hate it when they package it like this. They put a whole bunch of them together in, in bubble wrap. And it kind of bends the top of the cards in here. So I usually have to be kind of careful taking these out. Yeah, the condition of these isn't that, isn't that good. I don't think I... I don't remember what I paid on these, but I know I did get some for good prices. I just kept seeing a whole bunch coming up, so I'm like, oh, I better get these. Here we have uh, Baroness also known as a Cobra Intelligence Officer. He's got Torpedo. He does have uh, some bubble damage here. Like I said, I, I believe these were uh, not, not too expensive, so I went ahead and got them anyways. He uh, is also known as Seal. Then we have uh, another snow job here. His card back has seen better days. He got some creasing on him. It happens. It's kind of you can see, I don't know, uh, let me grab the other one here real quick. You guys can see what I'm talking about with this uh, accessory wear on it. Now if I can find the other one. No. I got too much stuff here. There it is. You can see with the, look at the skis are yellow on this one and then the <laughs> backpack's yellow on this one. So, I, I don't know, it's, it's very strange how that happens, but I see it's very common for snow job. And it stinks when you get it in and you're like, oh, I didn't realize that was yellowed. And sometimes the auctions in Japan, the, the pictures that they put up are just, they're not that great. So it's very hard to tell sometimes. Uh, I got Firefly here. This one is a like a lesser conditioned Firefly than uh, the one that I've got. I think I have another one in here. I think I end up with two Fireflies. Let me get these out of the way here. A lot more to go through, like I said. Excuse the background noise, I think my wife is feeding the, the cats. <laughs> you can see what I mean, there's a lot more. Yeah, and then the package in like this again, so... Yeah, I hate this. I'm so afraid to bend or damage anything. And they're stuck together. Uh, we've got another Cobra Officer here. Got a uh, really bright rock and roll. I really love the, just the card backs just pop on these things. They look really good. Another Major Blood here. Remember, these are all from 1986. And like I said, they're, they're kind of common over there to an extent. Sometimes there'll be stits where there's just, there, nothing comes up. Uh, period of a couple weeks or something like that and I, I, you'll see a handful of figures and they just they're asking too much money for them so tend to avoid them but every every couple weeks two three weeks or so somebody lists just lists a whole bunch of them so I end up trying to get them all sometimes I get outbid and then things go for too much money I don't know why but uh, here we have Gung Ho we have Flint Warren Officer A really nice shaped stalker. We have a roadblock. It is interesting how they did all these figures, but there's so many figures that I really wish that they had released, like version one Storm Shadow, which would have been in the second run, but they just didn't do well in Japan, so they only ended up with the one run of figures. But they did do a lot of cool, uh, like I'll show you here shortly, some of the advertising stuff. I got a book in and I got a few other items in, so you'll be able to see those. And It's, it's really neat all the different things that they released over there. And here's the, the nicer condition Firefly. It does have some kind of uh, staining on, on the back there, which, which does suck, because I didn't see that in the listing. But the card, the card back otherwise is in great shape. We got another another major blood. 
didn't realize I had this many of them. So I said I never know what I got until I get it in. Cobra Officer again. We got another tripwire. So like I said, I'm going to go through these kind of quick. I don't have uh, too much time here. And I have a lot of stuff to cover. <clears throat> Destro. I do notice that a lot of these on the back, there's uh, some discoloration, which kind of affects the value. In the listings, sometimes you don't really see it. Uh, I don't know what, why they do that. I'd probably just to sell them and make money, but whatever. Um, Scarlet. And I want you to know all the damage. <clears throat> the breaker. And here we have another rock and roll. Clear these out. I'm taking up a lot of space. Put the deck in here. save this one for a little later this is these are actually fun school I don't want to go through those just yet I still got a lot more items to go through here oh, man. and look at that more figures what do you know and then once again they wrap them all together excellent I'm going to use a knife on this one I don't even know where the knife went. I'll edit this out. All right, guys, we got a lot more, a lot more figures here. Uh, I got another torpedo, another roadblock here. Another Cobra Soldier. Another Shipwreck. We have another Gung Ho. I have a nice Duke here. This one's uh, the regular sleeved Duke. There is a variation that's a, that's a cuff sleeve. The sleeves actually go all the way down to his wrist. I don't know. If you can see that but these sleeves do not so this is a regular release one that the cuff sleeve is actually it is harder to find for some period of time there there was a few that had popped up but I haven't really seen that many lately Another flint we have another stalker here I'm hoping that's it for the figures because this is a lot it gives me a lot of stuff to do, that's for sure. Listing all these things up. And uh, we'll get, hopefully move on to the vehicles here. I, I got another box over there that I'll get to. I got, I do have a vehicle in here. That is a vamp. This is actually bubble wrapped really well. It's almost like Christmas. I don't even know if I want to open this because it's going to take me a while. I'll probably run out of battery life on the camera before I can get this open. I, got, I don't know where I put my knife. Just took it out and now I, I, it's gone. But uh, yeah, this this is one, I think there's another vamp, so hopefully you guys can see that. I don't want to spend all this time trying to open it, even though I do want to get this out of there because it looks like the uh, whoever packed it didn't put it in there very well and I can see it kind of bulging on the top of the box. So I don't like seeing that, so I just don't want to get that out. That's another item that might go to Russell. Russell loves G.I. Joe's, and he needs like 500 vamps. He's a really big fan of the vamp, I don't know why, especially the Dakara one. Here's another vehicle. You know, this one's actually, this is 
Yeah, well, it looks like it looks like it was sealed. Um, no longer is sealed because the tape has come out and the tape's old, so it happens. But uh, this snowcat actually eluded me for a long time. When I started collect collecting Takara, back in like 2006, and look at that. This is... <laughs> can I help you, sir? <laughs> when I actually collect, started collecting these back in uh, 06, around there, they I for, I don't know, a good five, five years maybe, I couldn't even find one of these. I hadn't even seen a picture of it. And another collector was kind enough to share a picture. <laughs> yeah. You see him in the in the shot? Look at that. I got a helper now. But yeah, this is a really cool piece to have if you like the snowcat, of course. But it was kind of rare for a long time. And it looks like somebody's gonna assist me on the rest of my video here. Well guys, as you can see, I got a new helper. <clears throat> He's definitely going to assist me very well uh, in that opening packages, maybe. <laughs> I don't know. The cats are crazy. Reminds me of my buddy Scott. Always has his cats in his videos. So Here is a Night Attack, also known as a Stinger in the U.S. This is a really cool item as well because I just really love the box art on these. Uh, the back of the box is really cool too. The file cards are totally different. They're really small and it's kind of cool that they gave the vehicles a file card over there. Uh, we didn't really get those in the U.S. And the, the file card, you have to actually, I'd hate to be the one to cut this out of the box, but uh, in the U.S., you know, they came with a file card for the figure inside the box. So it's definitely unique. I should open these ahead of time. Here we have a Takara Fang. Let me see. I, I, I think the size of the box is really cool. There, there's a, another vehicle I'm going to show you next. The box is just ridiculously small. Uh, I, I thought that was really awesome. You can actually see the uh, original price right here. 15, 1,500 yen. Now I guess today, today that's like about 15 bucks. The, the exchange rate's all over the place. I, I, I can't keep up with it. It's constantly changing, and especially with the whole bricks thing that's going on right now in the UK. It's uh, definitely going up and down. So I'll show you these small boxes, and you can see what I'm talking about. I got two of these in. I, I, try, I was just trying to win one, but I ended up with two, which is fine. I'll throw another one on my shelf. This one's sealed, but look at the size of the box. It's actually really small. You can see compared to the, the Fang, just a little guy. And they still managed to fit everything on the back of the box. The same picture that's on the other ones. It's, it's really funny. And this isn't uh, too much. This actually has the original price sticker on it as well, which is uh, 1,200 yen, roughly 12 bucks. So like I said, I got I have two of those. I I think I'm gonna keep this one just because it's it's still sealed and it's in you know, like really nice shape. Because I'm a hoarder. <clears throat> see what else I have for you guys here. I got some more vehicles. I have a whole another box over here. We'll get to this here in a minute. This one is a Skyhawk. Even though it didn't have a pilot, so at least has a file card on the back. That the uh, the RAM cycle that I just showed you doesn't. And the name, the name on this one is actually really funny. You can see a uh, little Harry. I, I think that's a definitely uh, interesting choice of name. I, I don't I have no idea where they came up with that. The RAM cycle you can, is still the same. It's rapid fire bike on on here. So 
so I'll have a lot of editing to do on this video. Hoping that uh, battery doesn't die over there. We have some more figures. I didn't realize I had more, but uh, yep, I've got another torpedo. This one's in pretty good shape. I have another figure that's in this that came in this box. I'm gonna kind of wait to go through that with the fun school stuff. Even though I did get it from Japan, I'm gonna I'll get to that in a little bit just because it's fun school. It's not Japanese. Oh wow! Look at that. I might as well army build these. Another torpedo. This one I'll put aside. Yeah, I still got more figures in here. I really like their bubble wrap, I'll tell you that much. I don't know why ours isn't as pretty as this. Look at that, another Cobra Soldier. Hey, look at I got another flyer, Firefly. How many Fireflies did I get? I have no clue. <clears throat> More than enough, we'll say that. And hopefully this one's in good shape. They really kind of pack it uh, and it looks like they bent the top. Awesome. It is packed well, but at the same time, sometimes it's too good. And then they damage stuff because they tighten it down. They like clamp it on there. That doesn't look like the top's, top is bent really. I do see some minor wear but uh hopefully you guys can see that all right with the plastic on here it might be a little shiny and um, hopefully this is the last figure because i have i've got way too many i'm pretty sure it, they packed it really well with a destro also known as an enemy weapon supplier got a few more vehicles here Got another snow cat. This one, this one is opened. And I got a Japanese Wolverine. This is a really cool item. I, I this is uh, when you kind of put the vehicles into like value tiers. Uh, the top two, of course, being uh, the Rattler and then the Sky Striker. This is actually up there in, in that same tier. It, it is uh, a little, it was a little bit difficult to find for a while. And then several popped up, kind of flooded the market a bit. Uh, and, but it still kept the price point around like 150, 160. And it was still kind of valued about that, about 160, 180 or so. So this box uh, isn't too bad. You can see the back with the file cards on it. And then I got another vamp just because, just because I knew my buddy Russell required uh, as many vamps as I could find, basically. And these are what I could find. So here's another vamp that, that would be for Russell, I'm sure. This is more of a paperwork kind of thing. Uh, these are actually video game related, but they're still G.I. Joe. I know uh, a few people showed some interest in this on my Japanese Takara page on Facebook. I can link that down below too. But uh, you can see here, hopefully you guys can see that all right on, on there. These are kind of like an instructional paper it's not it's a little bit thicker than paper it's nice and glossy on the front uh, and you can see that it kind of shows you the button layouts the figures you can choose and then uh, it's, I think the other one's kind of similar it shows you some of the um, like the weapons and the power-ups in the in the game so, and then this is included as well this came with it I have the I have these as well um, in my own collection. I have these. So this is the operator's manual. This is for the PCB board, which you can see 
right here, which is really cool. I, I think, I want to say these were probably given to people that dealt with uh, these games in the arcades over there. Because it shows dip, dip switch settings, coin settings, main menu, game options. And I have seen the PCV boards for sale on Yahoo Japan. Nothing I'd ever go for because they were always in the $300 plus range. Just didn't see it to be worth it. So now moving along, we're going to get into the fun school items that I got in. This one, uh, like I said, this came from Yahoo Japan, but they come up with this. So much uh, strange things come up on there. I don't, I don't know. Maybe it's, I guess there's collectors there that import these products or shops or something like that, little hobby shops, but I, I have seen a lot of, such a huge variety of things from all over the world come up on their auctions. And this being one of them, this is from India, but I have stuff, seen stuff from South America, Australia, and hopefully I can get this, get this out. I guess I'm going to cut it down the middle. But this is a really, this is a really cool piece. I like my, my wife's nickname for this particular figure. She calls him D Disco Boots Snake Eyes. The reason being is because the fig, jeez, it's going to come out. This tape down here. These cards are really flimsy, so I'm kind of trying to be careful. The reason he's known as Disco Boots Snake Eyes by her, I don't, hopefully you guys can see this, but his boots are actually gold. It is, it is very uh, comical to see that. But, I mean, overall, this is, for fun school, this is in okay condition. The bubble's still attached, which is uh, usually not attached. Um, the top bubble does has some crushing to it. I may actually open this and have this as a open figure in my, my display. I'm not sure yet. He does show some discoloring. Normally he's like a bright blue. This one's kind of faded and his arms are just that bright blue still. We'll get onto this box and these figures. That should finish up the uh, the video. Let's see here. I always like how my buddy Sid packs this stuff. He always said I have like so many of these plastic containers because of Sid. What time is it? Twenty. See, I got a uh, another variation of Snake Eyes, which uh, no like. I, if you guys collect G.I. Joe's, I'm sure the people that are watching this do. Snake Eyes are normally all black. Over there, they had a bunch of variations of them, this being another one. And then I also got a another Bats. I really like the Bats. It's a, a really cool figure. Hope you guys can see that. I don't want to take it out. I don't have a lot of time left, but here's the Bats. He has a different color variations. Um, the yellowing is the yellow is different, and then I, this one uh, I'll have to compare it to the other ones that I have. But he does look like, like I have a different one here, so I always like that when that happens. All right, guys, I'm getting more into the fun school stuff. Got all these from my buddy Sid. He uh, always hooks it up. He always finds some really cool stuff, and I'm very thankful that uh, I can get some of these items. Some of this stuff is really hard to come by. This is a uh, loose complete with the box. Box has seen better days, but it's a Fun School Thunder Machine. The colors are different on this as well. Um, I am gonna show that in a later video. For now, I'm just gonna show you guys the box, which is kind of beat up. This is a Fun School Snake Armor. This is actually a pretty hard piece to come by. Uh, I've had, I had a loose one, I've always wanted to get the box. This box is in okay shape. I think there's different colors of those as well, as far as what's been released over there. I, I believe there's uh, different shades of gray and, and blue. I think there's black too, I think, or that, maybe that's Nilco.
know what it is with the bubble wrap from some of these other countries. It's so, it's like really thin. Like it's just like a soft feeling. It's kind of weird. As long as it protects the items in there, that's fine. It's just different. And then this is a uh, outpost. It's a really cool piece that I've been wanting to get because the top of it is uh, a different color. Man, the box is in pretty decent shape for what it is. And we got a uh, Fun School Trouble Bubble. And another one where the, bo the box actually, uh, it's not that bad. I wonder what the writing is. I see writing on some of these boxes. It says like 85, 47. Not sure what that means, but I see the cat's getting into my toy, so better have get done. This is also an MRF offer box. Not every box will have had that MRF racing sticker on there. That's for, uh, <clears throat> they have like a little MRF vehicle set that you can order from over there. <clears throat> they were kind of common here for a little while and you could see them pop up on, on eBay. Here we have a Cobra Night Landing. Um, I believe the, the boat on here is actually a different color. That's kind of why I wanted it. And I have a few different releases of this from other countries, so I kind of want to compare those which I'll do in future videos. <clears throat> this also has an MRF racing sticker on it as well. And last but not least, <clears throat> I'm trying to get all these small sets. <laughs> I honestly never had any intention of getting them, but since I got all of them from Ruby Plus, I figured I might as well go ahead and get the rest of them from other countries. So I went after the ones that were in India because I didn't have these really cool to compare them. This one actually is the Cobra surveillance port. You guys can see here the box is a little bit in rough shape but I think it'll display all right. I like how the bats is on there shooting. It's pretty cool. So, But until next time guys stay tuned and I will uh, be uploading a lot more videos the near future and hopefully get this toy room done. Make sure you like and subscribe this video and I will see you guys next time.